Babe, Randall's preening. He feels so buff. Look. Can you see? Here is he. He's preening. I've never seen him preening before. I don't suppose he's ever done it. He'll soon be ready to go. Look. He's learning to clean his own feathers. He stopped now. You're watching him. But you saw him try, didn't you? I've done this because guess what? He was trying to fly out the window. I think that's the thing. Not only the fact I've just stolen him from the outside. But even with budgies, they tend to fly out the window. So I've just used this old bubble wrap I just happen to have and some gaff tape and I've just done that. So he's not doing it now, so it's good enough, isn't it? Get some neck curtains. You know what? Slowly, slowly catch him on here. I'll soon have the nets up, babe. Um, he's had a little fluster around. He's been out for about half an hour, so I've moved some of these because he tries to jump on the pan, so I've put him... A, a roosting collection of things up. I'm going to start putting my pans in the oven. Mm, some of them probably. If he's going to be out for a bit. Just so he's not sitting in my saucepans. But I'll have to clean it out properly. And I'm now going to clean the oven. And I should probably put towels or something over it. Move it around. The dog's crying. I keep threatening to hit her. But I've blocked her out with a, an old Welsh wheelback chair. <laughs> hurrah, hurrah they say um, I just I just want to show you he was preening he's preening himself I threatened to hit her again live and she's quiet, I'm supposed to give her a biscuit I know, I am doing it I'm mixing it up what the fuck all that time you like it really when I say that it makes you all scream with laughter. Look, she's getting used to it. He, she, they. And you'll see I've put a little thing on there, a lid with some peanuts in. I'm just, I'm not coming to get you. I did it with gaff tape. I'm not sure it's perfect, but if we're going to start, I don't know, you never know, do we? When he's relaxed a bit. Hopping from here to there with rewards. You know, he jumped on me at one point when he was flapping around, so he's something too scared of me. He's having up there a little preen. Lots of water, probably, don't you? I put a bowl of water down on the floor in case he fancies a bath or a drink. How about that? Preening. He wants fresh threads, babe. Fresh threads. Are you a rough old dog? Are you a rough old dog, pigeon? Hey? A rough old a red collared dove? Are you a red collared dog? Dog bird. Hello. His beak looks quite dovey, doesn't it? He's a very rare specimen, a red dove. True. Are you a red dove? He's a, red, he's a rough red dove. Dog one. Persia, you're the Persia one of a what? What bird's called again? Ornithology. <laughs> what do you think? Hey, you don't want an old Jesse on, do you? You do. You feel the prestige when I look for a proper one. I'll make you a leather one, a leather bound one, just for when you're indoors with a bell on it. How do you feel about that? Stop messing with him. Stop messing with his mind. Come on. There we go. Look at you. Which way are you going to go? No. Let's take him through and see. Look, he's just sitting on me. We're not making him do it. See where he goes. 
if he gets an urge to flap. He needs to flap his wings and practice, look. He wants to stay with me. Do you want to sit on my head? No? You've got a spider web on you, mate. I think his plumes are coming through on his head. He's going to be blue and red. He's going to be so nice. There we go. Look, he's going to have a look. He's not seen that other thing I've put up yet. I bet he goes straight in there. Look, in that basket. No, I'm wrong. Oh, he's having another little prune, pruning his feathers. Who'd have believed it? He's so happy, he feels like having a spruce up. He's getting ready, ready to hit the town. He's going to have all the ladies chasing him. They won't recognise him when he comes back, will they? Hey, all full of bluster. Randall, the old red dog. They have oil glands in their tails, don't they? He's preening his feathers properly. How did he learn to do that? Hey? How did you learn to do that? Not for any of your scabby old mates, did you, I bet? It's ingrained into your what? In ingrained into your feathers? It's in your DNA? I don't go when his feathers are through, right? <laughs> I just wanted to show you because that's such a happy thing, isn't it? That he's preening. Where's he going to go now? How much time have we got? 29 minutes, two more minutes. I don't really know what to do. Should I just leave you watching him? See where he goes. I'll pop you in the cupboard. Let's just see it through. Let's see. Should I fiddle with him again? Or should I just leave him alone? Had some draw. Oh, there they are. I need to drawing pin my my new window up. But I couldn't find the drawing pins that I had just now. To put these in for just to pack them. And secondary use of that's going to be what? It's like double glazing. <laughs> toots, toots, love. Right. Oh yeah, I forgot. Last time I was filming, he was flapping in his cage, wasn't he? He was a bit stressed, I presume, in a lot of things. But I just covered it up with that sheet for a bit. And he calmed down straight away. I've run out of time now. <laughs> 